be crazy. Yeah. I've thought about doing different art installations and like, I mean, they'd be expensive, but they appeal to hoity-toity people they who would. think they're yeah, better they than would. everyone. Like, uh, the sound, like, I thought of one, it was just dismantling a piano. And the music is the sounds the piano makes as you take it apart. Interesting. That's, that's very, that's some very, uh, what's his name? That's some real, John Cage. Some real modern art right there. Yeah, that is. Very modern art. But see, if I get a bunch of real prissy fucking tightwads with tons of money, like real, real New York Hoboken people. Oh <laughs> yeah, boy. They eat that shit yeah, up. They like, the, yes. like you saw the people at the, on the opera trip. Oh uh, my god, yes. All those, those people. people. You think that they give a shit about music? They're just there they to be don't. seen, you know? But like, yeah. this is the kind of thing that people would go yeah. to so that they can tell their friends about. Oh yeah. Not even so much that they enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh wait, I was just reading an article about these weird exhibits. They're like museums, but they're not museums. They just have a theme, and they're literally designed so that people can go there and take pictures and post them on Instagram. And I forget what they're called, but they're literally the stupidest thing ever. No, they make money. And they're for oh, no, New they York make... Hoboken types who would pay money to get a good Instagram photo. Yeah, but it's like ridiculous. I forget what it's called. They're called like experiences or like, and there's just a bunch I, I of them that it. pop up in New York and like they have all these weird themes. Like one of them is like candy themed. So it's like these weird like aesthetic rooms where you like yes. go and take pictures with like a giant gummy bear or something. But like, yeah, no, but th they look like, and they're like designed to look like Sorry, that's the that's the aesthetic music. That's um, 420 Macintosh 420 from the album Floral Shop. Oh, you know it if you heard it. Okay, aesthetic, aesthetic <laughs> with the spaces. <laughs> yeah, with the spaces. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know, it's just weird. I find it weird to like go to a place like because they call them experiences, but it's like this one person was like, yeah, like or the person who wrote an article about it. She's she was like in charge of like writing articles about like interesting things or something and so she was like going to these to like report on them and she was just like i felt really empty after going to these like you just go yeah, you go into these cheap like rooms with, like they look cheap and like kind of gross wait so but they look good like, in the lighting it's like for a, photos it's like a one of those like the family photo center in like kmart that you would go there, to. You, that's it's exactly like, but like what it is. like, you don't pay is. a photographer. You just pay an entry fee, and then you yeah. take your own you pictures. Just, yeah, yes. you just go and, like, you take Instagram photos with your friends. And you're like, wow, I went to this cool experience. But, like, it's super overpriced. Sorry, and, like, sorry. yeah. And it's just, like, I don't know. I feel like that's dumb. I feel like I wouldn't want to do that. But, like, it's apparently really popular. So you could probably get someone. You could probably get someone who's like, wow, a piano getting taken apart is music. There's a sucker it's born such a every metaphor. minute. It really speaks to me on an emotional yeah. level. I would want to hear it because I feel like that would sound cool. Especially I have if we a could turn it. Really? Yeah, I did one over the summer. Really? Does I it sound like. I did this. No. Okay. It sounds like shit. I was gonna say, <laughs> if you could make it sound like music, award. like if you, it's very art deco. Like if you could make it start, if it started as like you playing the piano and someone was like taking it apart as you're playing, I was like, I feel like maybe no, that's too complicated. Just yeah. take that it wouldn't apart. work. I just don't take think. It apart. Just take it apart. I feel like it would just be like a lot of ar arbitrary noises. Like it wouldn't be like a that's exactly piano. what it is. It's all arbitrary noises. But sort of like how John that. Cage did it. Mm -hmm. John Cage did a lot of his music. Without even a conductor, he would just walk around with a stopwatch, and yeah. at certain points, he would just do things. Good stuff, yeah. Yeah. It's actually so smart, because I feel like any... Like, there, there will be some out there that will be interesting. There's a there. sucker born every minute. And there probably is in New York, Hoboken, or San Francisco. <laughs> or LA. Or Seattle. Mm, any Seattle? city. There's a suckers in cities. Yes, yeah, cities. That's where the suckers are. I wonder why. Do you think they... I guess they migrate towards cities. Maybe. Because living in an apartment doesn't require as much brain power as living in a home. That is correct. There's That's a lot fair. more maintenance that you have to do yourself in and a maintenance home that you problem own. problem solving. <laughs> and why would you... And why like, problem solving is not... Why problem solve when you can pay someone to do it for you? Exactly. Yeah. And if you have enough money to live in a city, obviously you have enough money to pay for someone to... Fix your leaky pipe. Yeah. Or patch drywall. Or change the batteries in your fire alarm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yep. That's true. I mean, I'm going to probably live in an apartment next year. 
So I'll try not to take any of that to heart. But oh, you're, there's you're like two buy. types of people, like I've noticed, right? There are people who are apartment dwellers and people who are homeowners. People who live in apartments and then try to buy a house are pretty clueless with what to do when you own a house. Mm-hmm. And people who own a house and then try to live in an apartment usually just go stir crazy. Because they have nothing to I don't do know. at all. I feel like well, maybe or they it's... pick up a really weird hobby. Or they're just never Yeah, home. like making sculptures out of fossilized shit and then selling it <laughs> on like Etsy to New York <laughs> yes, <Etsy>. yuppies. <laughs> okay, you could probably actually find that on Etsy. Yeah. That's so gross. Yep. That is so gross. It's not really that gross because it's all hard. I think it's gross. It is still it is. Hum- it is still shit though. Just imagine like like yeah. someone just like taking a knife and being like, you know what, I'm gonna carve this into a floral pattern. And sell it online, and someone will buy it. I got my poop it. knife. I got my, my <laughs> shit. I'm gonna knife. carve this so all up. Gross. The face when you accidentally use your poop knife, you confuse <laughs> it with your with your eating knife. That's so gross. You need to label it. You, you gotta get label some, your like, poop duct knife. Tape. Yeah, that's so gross. My poop knife. Where are you getting the supply of fossilized shit? Like, um, I don't even want to know. Museums, Actually, don't answer you that. You probably just buy it from museums yeah. and sell it at a. Premium. I feel like fossilized oh shit probably isn't a big ticket display <laughs> item. Because no one really wants to look at shit. So you just buy it from museums. It just looks like a rock. And they're not concerned. They're like, this guy just ordered two pounds of fossilized shit. It's right? two less pounds of fossilized <laughs> shit we have to store in our storage room. That's true. That's very true. You can do whatever he fucking wants. You can eat it if he wants. Oh, I don't that's care. That's so gross. We got our money. Fewer uh-huh. donations we have to solicit. But back to, back to the apartment house thing. Like... I feel like that's not always true. Like, I know both of my parents, they, like, lived in apartments just because it was, like, closer to their work. And then, like, they moved to the suburbs and bought a house. Well, and people was, like, can fine. always change. Yeah. But if you're not handy to begin with, okay, odds are that's you're true. probably not going to do so well as a homeowner. Yeah, I think um, my parents are a good example. Like, they both have lived in apartments, but my dad grew up in a house. Okay. And he's the one true. that handles all, like, the house stuff. My mm-hmm. mom has lived in an apartment for most of her life before coming here. So she doesn't really. So she knows some stuff just by learning it through osmosis, <laughs> but like, she just defers to my dad mm-hmm. a lot. It's just easier for everybody that way, or if hire somebody else to do it. Yeah, yeah. My of course, there's always going to be specialty things that you don't want to fuck with, like like mowing the lawn. It's not a specialty thing. It is in this that. house. It, yeah, I would say in my house. Similar. It's different. It's, it's different. It's different. My dad but won't like, mow the lawn I on meant, principle. Yeah, I meant like he doesn't want to. Electricians. Yeah. Plumbers. Okay, well, yeah, that stuff mm-hmm. you hire someone for because you run a huge risk of just Messing destroying up. something. You mess up your entire life as a result. Oh, yeah. Okay, see, in my house... Ha- my dad is friends with plumbers and electricians who just do it. Yeah. I don't know. With some things, my dad does it himself because he'll be like... Like, he's been in situations where professional people have screwed things up, and he's like... He, like, knows electrical engineering, so he's like, I'll do this myself. But I guess I, I guess I see how that could, but I feel like if you lived in an apartment and then you went to a house, you just end up hiring more specialists for things that you Yeah, want. like I guarantee you if you polled people who have lived predominantly in apartments versus people who have been predominantly house dwellers, like you'd be able to tell pretty quickly the like if you polled them and asked them what the likelihood or like for what things they would yeah, they would call a specialist for. Well, I think where these homeowners are matters to it. Suburbs yeah. is rural, and suburbs have a lot more people you can call. But mm-hmm. in, the, in rural area, you're kind of on your own. And mm-hmm. in a completely urban area, then it's just like just call someone every single time. Good yeah. luck not finding somebody to do this for you. But I feel like apartment dwellers would have different. Like I feel like apartment dwellers might be more street savvy or like transportation savvy, especially You'd like in be a city. surprised. Really? It more depends on how long they've been an apartment dweller, you could say. Okay, that's true. Well, I guess someone who's lived in an apartment for or like... Or just how stupid they are. Some people are just like that. Sometimes no it's, it's it. just a question of general <laughs> intelligence. Like, there's no cure for stupid. And it comes in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. And all walks of life. That's a good quote. That's true. Maybe I should work on that as a biomedical engineer. Cure Instead stupid. of like prosthesis. Yeah. I do. It's called eugenics. Oh, I uh, thought you might you need to work on not being stupid. Yeah. Also that. Um, yeah, but like if you could just make a way for like people to be less stupid. 
Because there's well, got to be some science behind it. that's what legislature is for. You legislate common yeah. sense. Doesn't it work that well, though? Well, we don't have fireworks in New Jersey. So there's that. <laughs> but that's like not even... But that's an infringement even... on my freedoms as an American. Yeah. Well, you can't... Well, it's not your fault. As an American, it's other Americans. But it's still it's infringement. It's fault. still infringement on my freedoms. Yeah, see, it's like you shouldn't have to take away. Just because a few people can't handle something doesn't mean you should get rid of it completely. Is that what you're saying? Well, if enough accidents occur where it makes sense to get rid of it, like fireworks, really, you really think that kids in Montville would be safe around fireworks? No, I but see, do I not said think this before. so. You have to when you bu- that name. I believe I said this before, but when oh, you actually. buy the fireworks, you accept responsibility for whatever happens as a result yeah. of your use of the fireworks. It's like a Surgeon General's warning on the... On cigarettes? Yeah. Well, actually, fireworks might be different because you could harm other people unintentionally. Like, let's say it's I'm like your neighbor. It's very easy to shoot a firecracker right. through yeah. someone's window. All right, fair enough. Those are pretty unpredictable. Yeah. If you wanted to extend it to gun control, I suppose you could, but you're not going to burn someone's house down with a fucking gun. Guns are a lot safer than fireworks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I concur. There's... You, all, you also yeah. don't hear too many events of people shoving guns up their ass. <gasps> that's true, yeah. People have I've it. never People heard have such a thing. Stuck sticking fireworks so up their stupid. ass. That's so stupid. stick anything up their ass. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> People will stick anything up their ass, but like... If it fits, it's going up there. So if it fits, gross. it shits. <laughs> if it fits, it shits. That's so disgusting. Why do people do that? Because there's sexual Why? deviance. That's so gross. It's not even sexual a lot of the times. It's just, haha, look, I have a firecracker. <laughs> that is just, it's just, it's just a joke. That's so gross. And then that's... they end up with fourth degree burns a, in their rectum. Funny, okay, what would possess ha-ha? you to do that? That's not funny. That's so gross. It, could, it might be funny. That's so gross. It might be funny. Oh, it might have be. Have you ever seen it? No. Might, be, might be funny. <laughs> That's exactly the thinking that got them in trouble in that the first place. That is what they're all and that thinking. that is why we don't have fireworks in New Jersey. <laughs> that or was just the only thing that fit up their ass. <laughs> so they really needed something up their ass. Well, why would they light it? Could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that should not be the mentality. Oh, it could be why fun. Why do you think that they're illegal? There's a reason. Dumb. Same thing with Kinder Eggs. Like, you don't... Do you think, like... It says it has a toy on it, but kids can't read. Okay, that's because kids are just illiterate. Okay, and that's parents a aren't little. I think that's a little bit different. Fireworks actually are dangerous and unpredictable. Kinder toys, is is toys. In, the toys inside the Kinder. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But that's still entirely user error. I mean, anything is dangerous labels. if you use it wrongly enough. Tourette. So. Fireworks are just easier. But they're unpredictable. Yeah. Like with a Kinder Egg, that's entirely user error. <laughs> They're not gonna- the toy doesn't shove itself down your throat. You have to do that. You don't light the firework inside your ass either. The firework doesn't light itself. Yeah, you know, that's a fair point. Alright, fireworks aren't dangerous. I changed my mind. Fireworks aren't. <laughs> I changed my mind. They're only dangerous if you light them and shove them up your ass. And sh- but even inert fireworks are dangerous, though. Because if you have yeah, a house fire and you have them, like, in a cabinet or something, oh. there's a good possibility that uh, during yeah. the but house But who started fire, that house fire? It's God. electrical failure. <laughs> it could, yeah. Why was there an electrical thought. failure? We can extrapolate this backwards to being a user error. Uh, apartment yeah. dweller tried to be an electrician. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then it's the person's fault again. So really, nothing That's dangerous. That's an act of God, though. Unless, like we're we're assuming yeah. that the house fire is an act of God. Okay. And that the fireworks just, just being there. Yeah. Or, or like the electrician did it poorly, and it really wasn't the user's fault. Yeah, it's outside so of I the guess. user's fault. So is that what makes something dangerous? If it's like outside of the user's control, or like? I think that's what being a lawyer is like. Just talk about this shit all day, every day. Just <laughs> figure out whose fault it is. Yeah, yeah, that's but kind of it. They get paid. They, they do, do get, get paid. paid. The big bucks. They also kill themselves though. Yeah. No. I think not we're doing all. pretty all right. We haven't killed ourselves yet, so. No, not yet. Day ain't over yet. <laughs> that was a joke. Day's not Fun. over yet. The day is not.